Yeah, we're about a month away from the eclipse now, and how lucky are we to have one this close? In fact, while it doesn't get totality into Florence and Myrtle Beach, you don't have to go that far to the south to see it as we head through it again another month from now. But the next one, actually not too far away, at least in time, seven years away, 2024, but you have to travel to get to this one from Texas through Arkansas and into the Midwest. Again, it's not that far away, but we are pushing another seven years into the future and we continue to uh, push the timeline along here 28 years from now. 2045 is when another one returns to the southeast, the closest location for us to see it. We've got to go down to southern Georgia, southern Alabama and northern Florida, and that's the first of a couple that actually go through the southeast. Now we jump ahead a few more years here, 35 years away, 2052. This one does include portions of South Carolina down into Charleston once again. And it does go just south of Myrtle Beach once again. We'll likely see a portion of that eclipse, but the totality is going to stay just to our south. Now we really start to jump into the future here. This one starts to include some of our area from Florence through Dillon County, Marion County, Lumberton. We'll see totality in 2078, 61 years from now. Well, then the next one is going to get out of the southeast up towards the northeast 2079. Now we're 62 years away from now and then the next one 2099 that one 82 years from now and that'll be the next closest one. That one does get to the far northern portions of North Carolina. So again, soak this one in. It's going to be a while for another one that gets as close as this one.